Womane 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 Asalo na mauma de mo Asalo na mauma de for all over the world for whichever place on the watch the video Asalo una una welcome for my take my name Najina F Today topic is communication style in America. This is a part of my American one to one series. So watch out. Um, please, before I dive into the topic, if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please take a minute, go to YouTube, type my take by Gina F and subscribe. If you are not already subscribed, also please like and share my video and leave me a comment. I'd like to know what you think about my video. I am also in Instagram, my take by Gina F. You can follow me there as well. I'm also in Facebook, my take by Gina F. You can follow me there as well. And please don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. Share the video. That's the only way to go about this. Now, let's dive into the topic. Communication style in America. Why am I making communication style in America? I know most of you will be like, what are you talking about? What, what is important about communication style in America? Well, let me tell you why it's important, your communication style in America, because your communication style can make or break you. First of all, I've always said that in all my videos. The way you talk, the way you address your situation, the way you address people, the way you talk to people can make or break you. You can be friends. You, can, you, can, you, can, you, you, might, be, you might be asked one day, to repeat what you say in front of the in, in front of a judge or somebody take you to court you might be asked one day to give further explanation of what you write and it's, it, remember communication is not about what you say it's what you say and what you write so it's most it's verbal it's written and it's your non-verbal actions as well so there's many way of communicating so when i'm talking about communication i'm talking all forms of communication whether it's by you texting somebody whether it's by you in whatsapp or in facebook or in instagram remember communication your anything you say anything you put out there people read it and people get to know you from what you put out there so that is one thing you want to know and also remember the things you say and the things you write or the information you put out there is what you will be held accountable for. America is a society whereby there is a lot of court cases. It's not like in Africa where we do things and sometimes we just let go. We never take people to court. Here, people take people to court every time. Even from work, like us nurses and doctors they are take to court every day for the services that they provide for people just like even you having your own small petty business somebody come and make their hair and you don't do it well you are taken to court so they take you to court every time in america they even for you just signing something what i is a contract call and you do not read it well one day you want to say but hey this is not what they say it was in the contract and it is your responsibility to have read what was in the contract before you sign it so that is why i'm talking about this communication in america the reason why i'm talking about this because i want us to first of all understand that in america a lot of communication is done in writing not verbally we are so used to coming from africa and talking especially that most of communication is verbal in america a lot of communication is written Somebody sends you an email, that is a formal, formal way of communication. Somebody you want to, a contract, they might just go through a very few of it and the rest is in that, in that paper. One thing I want us to really focus on is that, please, a lot of communication here is written. So make it a habit to read information sent to you. Make it a habit to read. You want to sign that contract. Make it a habit to read that contract before you sign it. Because once you have signed it, you have agreed to everything in it. And let me not, man, no lie, Wuna. A lot of time they will sign that contract. We will not read them before we want to know 
down the road when something happened you don't want to say no i not be no they're not going to listen to that and not be no because they know say it now your right and now your responsibility for you for read all the fine prints the way they did for that contract now what one will focus on say america communication style they different from we so not expect somebody who can chew everything out like speak out everything out for you before you do something no they will only tell you what is needed for you what they feel like it is important for you to hear at the moment they are talking but most of the information is in writing so more could take time for say we do read things them document them emails them paperwork them read things them before you put your signature for they never want to talk because that is you accepting whatever they have said to you don't expect them that they will come and be telling you everything that is in the contract before you sign it or in your list or whatever. Make a habit to read more when you are in America. They will not come and spill out everything for you, tell you, say, now, so you get for doing, now, so you get for doing, now, so you get for doing. Or if you do this one, now, so go happen, now, so go happen, now, so go happen. No, they're not going to spill out for you because they know, say, then get all those rules and regulation policies, then where you, now your duty for you, Come in here for go find who's away then they read them. Even when you day work, they get all kind of policies. Them. They expect you, they go tell you place for go find policies. Them. They expect you for go find them. No expect, no things that will come, can they tell you say now? So you're supposed to do now, so you're supposed to do now, so you're supposed to. They will expect you for go go read them. So wait why I try for talking now. So wait when we come here, yes, so my sister there, my brother there. One big mistake we make all the time, and so we find ourselves into problems because we not get the habit for read completely, for understand the rules and regulation, for read the contracts and before we sign them, for read the lease, anything before we sign them. We want from I want more put and some more make sure some that be a habit because this country now a country where lawsuit is very easy. If parents them, if siblings they take people go court, what about you a foreigner or you a person where? You know me nothing for them for them for you for take you go court they did take you go court now until that one more talk another thing i want to emphasize on this communication is what my sister and my brother learn to know when to shut up mm -hmm. learn to know when to shut up and just answer the question as you are asked sometimes we talk too damn much you put yourself into trouble because you run your mouth too much i call it too much information Sometimes it is really important to just answer the question yes or no. Don't explain why you say yes or why you say no. Period. Somebody wants you to explain further, they will ask you that explain. This is how this country is. They want more explanation, they will say explain. If they want just yes or no, please give just yes or no. And they talk this thing so especially for people the way that they go chop at Joe. People that know they don't go for go chop at Joe, they go interview, they say all the damn interview because they talk more than they're supposed to talk. They ask you, say, why are you there for year? Simply talk, why are you there for year? No go tell them history will be happened before you come for year. When they want the history, they will say, Tell me the history. Another thing that another thing that for workplace. You there for workplace, something happened. They actually say, wait it happened. Say exactly what it happened. No go run your mouth more than you're supposed to before a master look and say, she is something else. She is so argumentative. Or you saw that. That's how they'll call you. Learn to know when to pause. If they need more information for you, they could tell you. Say, I need more. And they talk because we feel always that even exam for here. You see, people that don't go to school for come on, they do fine, they come for here for exam. Right exam, they know the feed pass is because they want for too much explain. No damn body. When they want me to explain for America, my sister, my brother, they go say explain. They not say explain, answer the question straight to the point. Are you in pain? If you are not in pain at that moment, say no. Don't start saying that it was yesterday and before yesterday, and the other side. So, no, they, they, no, they don't ask you that question. They ask you now. If they want to know before, 
Were you in pain yesterday? That said, may you talk about before. Which are the given the example now? Because of say, sometimes we don't know when to pause. We give too much information that put us in problems rather than helping us. Because remember, everything where you talk be register. And when you talk something, you preempt the person for think something else where the person not be maybe not be the thing that something else. Even job interview, not the same. You go job interview, they ask you a question, my sister. Answer just the question as straight as possible. Why do you want to work here? Because I love the company work ethics. You see, I don't answer that question. No, go start talk say, and because of my friend be work for that day, so and then that other one will be work for this, so oh, this is that, 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 or that, 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 that interview person start looking, so say, is she okay? Even though no, no, will ask you, say, are you okay? Because I like them for the goal, look you move your eye, come on, go. I think that I want to talk. The other thing I want to talk, my sister, then with this one, one more, I really know, correct, correct. Address people by their. Maybe hair color or their clothes style. This thing where we go just woke up, see some person, so he want to talk for you. Say, hey, I don't fat so. Body image is something that is really serious in this country. Stop talking about how people look, whether they are fat, slim, skinny, dark, black, blue, white. Nobody cares. Body image is something that is really, really a problem in America. And I did talk about this one because I know we back home. When we want to describe people, we always tend to describe people based on whether they are dark in skin or they are yellow in skin or they are fat or they are slim or they are short or they are tall. Now, I want you guys to get this claim. In America, we don't define, we don't, they do not describe somebody based on that. You want to describe somebody as is, you look at maybe their hair color or their clothing. Nothing to do with their body, how they look, how their shape is, or how their shape is not. And they talk, they say, I get so many people that don't can't go for workplace for here. They fire them because of language they use. You do not use body image to describe somebody. You do not talk about somebody's size, somebody's height. To describe that person use the color of their cloth look use their sitting position use the location of their house you could maybe sometimes use their hair color but their color of their clothes is your best bet to go because if you say to somebody they are slim or they are fat or they are tall or they are short and they hear you they get offended about that people are really body conscious in america people look it's a huge thing and i don't care whether you feel that person you say nana african you go know how would you talk no i like i talk again before an african who have lived here for a very long time start to think like america so when i stop for the just use that word even for social media or anywhere stop for just to use that word anyhow how you, you see somebody in the world, how you don't fast so you see my you did not know when they come from america you know new people that you do know you see somebody first time how you don't fast so how you don't drive so who cares? Look at it. Keep it for yourself. Nobody wants to know your opinion about how they are looking or how they are not looking. Please, keep it to yourself. That is really important. The other thing that I want to say is that, let me tell you, my sister and my brothers, social media is a form of communication if you don't know. Anything you say in social media or any post you put in social media, it's always going to be there. Anything you write in social media is always going to be there. So, as well as you're mindful of your emails or the text messages that you send to people, I want you to be also mindful of the things you put in social media because social media platform is also a source of information. Some people feel like that, what they say in social media, if they are in the case of the law, they will not find it. Let me tell you, it is a source of information. So communication as a whole, Whenever you are putting a message out there, being it verbal or written or spoken, make sure that what you are saying, you will not be held accountable for one day. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a blessed day. I love you now. God bless you.